In this video, we'll understand the Elevator Reader hardware template. To begin, in ProWatch, click on Hardware Configuration, highlight Hardware Templates, and we'll find and right-click Copy on Elevator Reader, and right-click Paste. This is to leave the default hardware template intact. Next, double-click on our new copy and update the name. My Elevator Reader. On the Device Types tab, you want to make sure you have the correct number of outputs per floors for your elevator. Highlight existing outputs that are too many and click the Delete button, or click Add and add additional elevator outputs. In this example, our elevator has six floors. Click OK to save. Next, let's program the elevator reader. Under your site in ProWatch, Perform a right-click, New, Logical Device. Provide the elevator reader a name. And we'll also select our hardware template as the new template created, My Elevator Reader. Select the correct controller and the hardware class, meaning the folder in which this will be assigned, Readers. Next, assign the unused reader for which your reader is hardware wired and click Finish. Once the reader populates in the Reader's folder, highlight it and go to Reader Properties. On Reader Logical Device Details, we have our reader and all elevator outputs. To assign hardware, give the first one a double click and all the unused available outputs are shown in the list. Remember, when assigning elevator outputs, all outputs must be assigned simultaneously, contiguously in a row. We'll choose the first output, output 0, on our output board. And again, this will assign hardware for all elevator outputs, yes. And just like that, all of our elevator outputs, all in a row, are assigned. Hardware description shows elevator outputs 1 through 6. Click OK to save. Next. Let's create a clearance code for this new elevator reader. In Database Configuration Clearance Codes, right-click New Clearance Code. In this example, My Elevator Reader Clearance. Make sure to check the Use Elevators checkbox to find the reader on the Logical Device tab. Click Add. Highlight your elevator reader and click OK. Next, select the time zone for the reader and outputs. You'll see on the next tab over, Elevator Outputs, this time zone has been applied to each output. To change the time zone, simply highlight the output and click the Time Zone button. The time zone associated with the output says this output may energize during. This is your access for elevators. Let's make another clearance code for an unlock schedule for an elevator. My Elevator Reader Unlock Schedule. Great. Check Use Elevators. And on the Logical Device tab, click Add, and let's find again our Elevator Reader. This time, we'll choose System No Time Time Zone, as most floors will not be automatically unlocked during the day. We'll find the floor in question, Floor 1, highlighted, and we'll say Time Zone, System All Times. Our Floor 1 is allowed to be unlocked 24-7. Other floors are never allowed to be unlocked. Now. Back in Hardware Configuration, Properties of our Reader, we can assign the Elevator Unlock Clearance Code. Simply click the checkbox, say Define, and select your clearance code, which we've named My Elevator Reader Unlock Schedule, and click OK to save. This is the appropriate way of programming an elevator reader with the right number of floors, clearance codes, and unlock schedule. For more information and videos, please visit HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com.